foundations. Strive in grace. Day four. Where to aim. To be a skilled archer, you need more than a bow and a set of arrows. You need a target. Striving to be a good bowman will get you nowhere if there's nothing to aim for. And an anchor must consider speed, distance, and accuracy in light of the target. We can work hard in our walk with Jesus, but unless we know what our target is, our efforts will be in vain. Perhaps that's why Paul ends one of his letters to the Corinthians this way. Finally, brothers, rejoice. Aim for restoration, comfort one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. Paul tells his readers where to aim their efforts, what to strive for. He encourages them to make unity and reconciliation their goal and to restore what is broken. How? By rejoicing in the grace that has been given them through salvation in Jesus. He forgave our sins. We can forgive others. He restored us to himself. We can be reconciled to others. He comforts us in our pain. We can do the same for one another. He made himself to be peace. We can be a conduit of his peace. You see, our efforts are in vain if we are not aiming to restore comfort and live in peace with other people through the joy and love of Christ. And don't look too far. Your target may be right at home with your mom and dad, with your kids, with your siblings, or with the extended family and friends that God has placed in your life. Because we've been given the grace of God, we can strive for unity with brothers and sisters in that grace and not miss our mark. To dwell on, by the grace of God, aim for restoration, unity, and peace with those around you. To discuss, describe a recent conflict or argument you had with someone. What were you arguing about? How does being happy in Jesus change the way you think of others with whom, with whom you might not agree? To memorize. Finally, brothers, rejoice. Aim for restoration. Comfort one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. 2 Corinthians Chapter 13, verse 11.